Greetings, and welcome to another Big Dig Guide. I'm Bear, and today I shall be teaching you about engines. Okay. So first we have the most basic engine, which is a redstone engine. It's created with two gears, piston, and yeah. I actually recently discovered that it can be used to power basic energy cubes, but not very effectively. It only gives it, yeah, very much. Generally used to pump items out of tanks, chests, so. Then we have our Sterling engine, which runs off either wood, coal, sugar, charcoal, or lava bucket. I'm just going to put this lava bucket in here. And then turn it on. It supplies quite a large amount of power compared to that. Per tick, it supplies up 26 times more. Then we have our combustion engine. Be warned, combustion engines can actually explode if you don't adequately cool them with water. Our Sterling engines can as well if you allow the energy to build up too much. It runs off lava, oil, and fuel. Fuel's made for the refinery. I oil's used by going through the refinery. So I put in the lava. Do -do. And it puts out quite a bit of energy. And we've got the steam engine, which is one of my personal favorites. You can actually run it straight off wood if you connect a water pump to it from an intermittent water supply. Steam engine. Wait a minute. What did I do wrong? Oh, ah, yeah. You need to right click, put it in there. Then left click in there. If you continuously pump wood to it, it actually creates it quite a bit of energy very quickly. Uh, then we have our magmatic engine, which is made for invar. It's probably one of the most expensive things in the pack. It runs off solely lava. A bucket of lava actually creates quite a bit of energy. It lasts for quite a while as well. Then we have our peat-fired engine. Now peat-fired engines run off peat poor? I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, you can either get that from bees, you get peat from a sludge boiler. Requires copper ingots to make. Um, then you can create... I don't know how to pronounce any of these things. Anyway, that's created by combining a normal one of the porpoise with a peat and ash. It's actually quite effective because this is the only engine that uses it. Some of these off. Once they go through an entire cycle, we'll create ash. And then we have another personal favorite. This is a clockwork engine. It requires a clock and a copper gear. But even if you put down a lever for it, it actually doesn't work. You need to hold down right click on it. It changes color, and once it's red, you just let go. Well, that's orange. But what's that? A bit of power. And then we got our biogas engine, which runs off fuel capsules. It requires bronze to make. And fuel capsule. I generally just use seed in them, seeds, oil cans, because I have way too much stuff from farming. Oh, I was the complete, complete forgot. Yeah, you put in water as well. Do you? I warmed up. Refill the heating tank. Hmm. Give me one second. Yeah, okay, I haven't used one of these in freaking ages due to the fact that I've been using my steam engines all the time. You actually need to heat it up with lava. So, yeah, it creates quite a bit. And also, this is still running. It's actually creating more than it was before, which is good. So, there's your basic engines, and they are still going pretty well. Enjoy.